Every year, householders in Devon throw away 180,000 tonnes of rubbish and it ends up in landfill sites like this one. In Exeter alone, we throw away 38,000 tonnes of waste each year. And though we are all recycling more, in 2009 the Devon wide recycling rate was over 52% and in Exeter 36%. We could all be doing something extra to prevent our rubbish ending up here. How our rubbish is collected varies depending on where we live in the county. Exeter City Council collects its domestic waste in either black bags or grey wheelie bins. Recycling is collected in green boxes, wheeled bins or special clear bags. Garden waste is an optional collection and shouldn't be put out with general waste. Clinical waste is collected in yellow bags or sharps boxes. Devon County Council disposes of all the Devon District's general waste, including Exeter's, as well as sorted waste from the Devon-wide public recycling centres. Around 87% of the waste taken to recycling centres is recycled. The remainder goes into landfill. It's vital that we reduce the amount of waste we create so that less ends up in landfill. Before you throw anything away, think what else you could do with it. Could you reuse it, recycle it or compost it? In doing this, we're saving vital resources from ending up in landfill. So what can you recycle in Exeter? You can recycle most paper from newspapers, magazines, junk mail, envelopes, directories and catalogues. We take all types of cardboard from cereal boxes to corrugated cardboard boxes. You can recycle cans, tins and foils, but make sure you rinse them first. We also take plastic bottles with lids on empty food trays, plastic carrier bags, empty bread and frozen food bags, but nothing else via the green recycling containers. Knowing what to recycle is vital so that we can prevent this stuff ending up in landfill. I've come to meet an Exeter family where recycling is second nature. Emily, can you put these in the recycling for me? As a family, we recycle our glass, our cardboard, our plastic and everything else that can be recycled, basically. Recycling is easy in our house because Mum and Dad put it in separate bags. Recycling is important to me and my family um, because it saves future resources um, like the forests and saves oil, the trees and the environment. There are things the Chalice family can't recycle through their curbside collection. However, at local community recycling sites like this one, you can recycle glass and possibly clothing, and some textiles, shoes, shredded paper, and in some places, books. You can also recycle engine and vegetable oils, wood, car and domestic batteries, fridges and freezers, waste electronic and electrical equipment, gas bottles and light bulbs. So if you are recycling properly, you should have less rubbish to throw out. In Exeter, general waste is collected bi-weekly for 90% of the population. Exeter City Council will only take one 240 litre bin or up to six black bags of general waste every two weeks. It won't accept any extra bags unless applied for as a shared house, large family or children in nappies. For those who live in city centre flats with no storage space, up to three black bags or one 140 litre bin of general waste will be collected every week. 
Recycling is always collected bi-weekly and extra containers are available if needed. But if you regularly put out your bags at the wrong time, you could be fined. If you have a baby or young children, another way of cutting down on the rubbish you throw out could be by using real nappies. Unlike disposables, they are reusable and will also save you money. I use reusable nappies because I think it's really important to not add to the landfill situation. Reusable nappies uh, also help my family save a lot of money and I know that uh, when I use reusable nappies on my daughter I will have saved an awful lot of money throughout her uh, nappy life and certainly now I can use these nappies again on my second baby uh, and I know that I'll save that money all over again and not add to any of the landfill. So, once your recycling has been collected from outside your house by lorry, what happens to it then? The lorry takes the mixed and compressed recycling back to the MRF on Marsh Barton, where it's inspected for general quality and then put into piles ready for sorting. A conveyor belt takes the mixed recycling to a pre-sort cabin. Here, cardboard, any textiles, soft plastics like carrier bags and any contamination such as food waste, nappies and clinical waste are removed by hand. Cardboard and plastic bags are baled ready for transport to a processor. The remaining recyclable waste is sorted where smaller items are collected and sent away for recycling. Larger items are divided into plastic and paper and again sorted by hand before they are bailed up and sent for processing. It's not just householders and their families who are busy recycling. We are keen to get everyone, whatever age, recycling and thinking about the environment. Helping us to spread the word is naturalist Nick Baker. We're all pretty good at recycling things nowadays. It's, it's sort of out there. Uh, we know what to do. Uh, we, put our, we sort all our, our waste products out, you know, your glass, your, your cartons, your tins, etc, etc. And some nice chap from the council comes along, picks it all up and takes it away to the depot um, for, the, 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 for the processing. Now, that's good. But there's another thing we can all do, and that is to take the organic material that most of us still throw out in our waste. I don't know what the percentage is, 40-odd percent of our waste is organic material. That's uncooked food, basically, peelings. You know, the apple that stayed in the fruit basket just a little bit too long. Um, rather than just throw that in the bin, that can be turned into probably the best compost known to mankind. Um, um, and that's all down to the services of some rather phenomenal little creatures, underappreciated creatures, I think, the brandling worms or tiger worms. Those, those little red and white stripy fellas that smell a bit funny when you pick them up. These children from Ladysmith Junior School in Exeter are having fun with worms. They're learning how these wriggly creatures eat food waste and turn it into compost and worm juice. And that's fantastic for the garden and brilliant for your plants. I like the worms because they're, um, they're quite clever because when they eat the leftovers of the fruit and everything, they make it into soil. There's lots of information on our website if you'd like to know more about starting your own wormery. Most of us are used to saving up our own newspapers and cans to put out for recycling. But one Exeter man doesn't just collect his own, but other people's too. Dave Robertson is a man with a mission. I'm the biggest private recycler in Exeter. I recycle paper for communities, the Scouts and various other organisations. I coordinate the collection of the paper, deliver it to Exeter City Council and the people who own the paper get credits back. In the 11 years that I've been uh, recycling paper, uh, a scout troop went to Switzerland, partially paid by us and their parents, and uh, another group went to Holland. Again, we subsidized that trip by recycling paper for them. 
Dave, the Chalice family and the pupils of Lady Smith School are all doing their bit to keep Devon green. But to ensure we throw less and less into landfill, we must make recycling a growing trend. As the population increases and we use more paper, cans and glass, it's vital we recycle them and they are reused. By recycling, we are saving resources and none of these resources will last forever. It's time we did our bit. Now. Girls, what have we got to remember to do? Reuse, reuse, compost and recycle!